guys and welcome. Um, today I have a special video and this is on my Minecraft Redstone world. I want to show you stuff back there. This is like a digital clock. It's sort of hard to see right now. But like right here you can see it. It's like has the AM and PM. And it tells the actual in-game time from like the sun and stuff. I think it's really cool. Right now it's on the actual in-game time. But I'm just going to turn it off right now so you like can see it better. There we go. So now maybe you can see that better, sort of. I chose a bad color of wool. I thought it'd be good to see, but maybe if I change my video settings here, maybe. Uh-uh, nope. Wait. No. It's not good, but, you know, whatever. Okay. Yeah, this tells the actual in-game time. This counts by increments of three. And then when this passes a zero, this will move. See? And then when this passes, like, five or whatever, this will move. And then when this passes, like, whatever number, this will move to this, you know? Now, this is what it looks like on the back. It looks like a lot of work, but when you when you get down to it, it's easier than you think. Like, what you do, like, so... Oh, these are loud. My god. Okay, just turn that down. Alright, so when, um... These are, like, the memory system. This is, like, the memory system for the clock. And what this does is it's, like... Like, you start out with all, like... Okay, so a redstone signal can travel through a block... And, but it can't travel through glass, and so like what you do is you just put glass in like different shapes and stuff. And like here I wrote down numbers for it, so it would go like three zero three six nine two five eight one four seven. Those are the numbers I'll have to input in there. Now there are total four memory systems. Here's a ten bit, here's a twelve bit, and then this is a ten bit, so ten on the outsides and twelve two twelves in the middle, right there. And so, yeah, it's, it may look, seem like really hard, but when I, if I decide to make a tutorial out of this, which I probably will, um, I think you'll like it. I think, I think you, you will like it. So actually, I think I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to build a, a, a memory system like this, all right, where you can get something like this right here to make it run. And then this just keeps the clock running. You don't have to worry about this right now. This will probably be the last thing we will put on. But I, yeah, I guess I will uh, show you how to make this 10-bit me memory system. And then maybe I'll show you how to make the 12-bit memory system. So, yeah. I'll see you there in a bit. All right, and welcome back. So now I'll show you how to build the the memory systems for the the clock. And I'm just going to build it over here. So what you'll need is you'll need one piston, or you'll need a normal piston, no, uh, non-sticky. You'll need green wool, or lime wool. You'll need pink wool. You'll need blue, red, and black wool. You'll need redstone. You'll need redstone repeaters. You'll need a redstone torch. All right. So to start off, what you need to do is you need to build eight pistons like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you start out building eight pistons just like this. And then crap. And I'm pretty sure you go you grab your pink wool like this. You build a pink wool like this. And then you put Sticky pistons face, or not sticky pistons, just pistons facing this way, so they're like that. And now let me just test this, make sure this is right. I'm just doing something here real quick. Alright, so that should be it right there. Alright, so actually, just keep that there. So now what you do is 
grab your pink wool. This, I believe you go up like this, maybe. Yeah, you build up like this. Wait, nope. Can't do that yet. This is four redstone. So what you do is you build two out like that and then put one block right there. Break that and then place your pistons like this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You, yeah, you just place your eight sticky pistons like that. And then what you do is you do this, like this, build up two, and then you place your eight sticky pistons like this, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nope, gotta place them the right way, basically the way how I'm placing them, and yeah, so it should be, look like this now, so now what you do is you grab your pink wool, you start going up like this, Yes, something like this, yep. And then you go on top of the pistons like this. And you place your redstone on the top. Whoa, lag, lag. That was a big lag right there. And you, yeah, you just place your pistons like this. And you place your repeater right here. And then eight repeaters along like, nope. With eight repeaters like this with no delay. And you just hook it all up like this, and you hook that up. And then, so you have that hooked up. Now you grab your blue wool. You place it like this, go up. So. Uh, nope, actually, it's not what you do. Go up. This is for a 10 bit system, by the way. So, you, yeah. Going up like this. And then you place along the back of them. Along the back like this. And again you place your redstone like this. Be pretty easy. All the way down to there. And you place your repeaters all the way along the back here. You connect this up. And you bring that back out there like this. Just gotta check really quick. Let's see if I put a repeater here. Yeah. Alright, so, yeah, so basically... Yeah. Alright, so... Now let me just head on back over here really quick. You place a repeater here, and you right-click it three times to put it on a full delay, and you just hook it up like that. And now this whole thing is hooked up. So now what you do is you place a block like that and a block like that and then a repeater in there like that. You place a torch there, a torch there, then a redstone like so. And then let's get a button. Um, there we go. Place a button like this and now you replace one of, the, you place the memory like this where let me just replace this like this. So what you do is you place your, you take your lime green wool, you place a block there and place that there and delete that one. And I guess just kind of go along how I am. Go up like so, place that one, delete this block, go up like that and then go down another like this and still leave that empty so that like the opposite corners do not have a block like so. Now you just place one of these blocks of like red wool or whatever to watch this stuff go around. Hmm. Oh, I didn't hook it up yet. Right, sorry. This is your output here. So just place that like that. And now it should be hooked up. Maybe. Hold on. I think I did this wrong. <laughs> Whoopsies. Let me just look really quick. Give me a break, guys. It's, it's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, right, I need to place that on a three delay. Three delay. God, right, sorry, I forgot. I feel so ashamed. I'm so ashamed of myself. Alright. So just click that twice. There you go. 
Now you can see the red block is moving. So just do that in like a full rotation to make sure that it will go around the whole cycle. One more. All right, and see now that it, it circled back around. So what you do is that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to delete this. And you'll need a bit of glass for this now. I guess you can get rid of your uh, red wool. You'll not need that. Um, what you do is you grab your green wool, green wool and you build it all the way out like so. Except this last one. This last one will be glass. It has to be glass. If it is not glass, this clock will not work. Now you just, you know, you just build it out like so. And you grab your black wool. And you place it you place it on like this, not the glass. Or I guess you could place it on the glass. You can do that. And then you place repeaters all like this. Except this last one. Connect it all up with redstone. Except this this block, you do not want it to be connected to the redstone. So you grab a torch and you place a torch there. So it does not connect with this line. And then, just for later, I'll show you this later, but you don't need to know now. You place a repeater there, and I'll place a torch there. Because you'll need that later. So now, I guess you can just build it out, like so, maybe. Yeah. You can just finish building this. Wait, don't want glass here. Wait, yeah, we want glass here. Make sure you get the glass here. Cannot stress that enough. There you go. Um, there you go. Let's give me a break, guys. Gotta build this here. Uh, and so now that's done. Should be good. Should look like that, basically. So then... I'm sorry, guys. It's been a while. I have to keep looking. I'm gonna go look in here. Is it the same level? Yeah, alright. And so, you're gonna grab your black wool here. You're gonna go out to, out here, on the front. And actually, you're not supposed to have this stuff here, actually. Delete this all. Alright, so now what you do is you... I believe it's repeater, uh, gap, repeater, gap, repeater, gap, repeater, gap. I believe that's it. God dang it. Here. Well, I'll pause this really quick, and then I'll go ahead and look, so I don't waste your time. Alright, guys, sorry about that. So, um, I figured out what it was. You're not supposed to place the wool right there, so that you just place a seven, seven wool. And you do repeater, gap, repeater, gap, repeater, gap, repeater, gap. Alright, so now that's done. What I like to do, or actually before you do that, you grab your redstone dust, and you just place it in between, like so. Now what you do is on the gaps, you break the blocks and then like go one under, like so, and then you face this way and you place repeaters, and then boom, you're done. You, uh, almost done actually. Just got to replace the stuff. So, yeah, should be it, I believe. And just fill in the gaps here. You should be done. And see now all that's like, let me just show you how like redstone works basically. See a block, redstone signal travels through that. So if I place a block here, this redstone will turn on and that repeater would turn on too. But if I place glass here, it won't. So, 
Yeah. That's basically how you build a, a 10-bit memory system, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, re please rate, comment, subscribe, and um, like like the video if you want to see part two. You know, just really part two. I guess it's like I was astonished when I figured out how to make this clock. Oh yeah, and you can also rotate around with those blocks staying in place, and it's really useful. I like it. So hope you guys enjoyed, and peace off.